What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream and the price action is still moving sideways guys. There is no lie in this guy. All right. And the price action is still pretty boring and the halving for ETN happened as well guys and not much price action. Okay. We're still at 0 0.006. So not too much moving up. I was hoping for a little bit of shoot up. But guys, as you know, when a halving occurs, that just means that we left a reaccumulation stage and they were theoretically now in a bull market. So with the bull flag that was painted yesterday, we could see some possible uptime in Electronium. It's just it could just be right around the corner. This little uptrend that we got could just be a little bit of a tease. So guys, if that sounds good to you, be sure to subscribe and like, and I'm going to dive right into the price action. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start with Bitcoin. And there's a couple things I want to talk about. Here's the big rise up to 14,000, which happened last year. And I drew this channel here. As you can see, there's a big widening channel, a broadening, basically a broadening wedge going down. And I put in a trend line here at March, which was basically a really good sign. If we would have kept up from that from March, that would have been great. We would already be up at 11,000 already. That would be great. But we ended up going a little bit sideways after the $10,400 rejection and moving sideways here to the right and we put in a new trend line right here. Not only that, but we are in a descending triangle which has a 30% chance of breaking to the upside and it did break to the upside. But guys, let's zoom in a little closer here. And go to the hour time frame. All right, let's look at this here. So basically, we had a bullish engulfing right before the big rise up. And then a sideways motion. This doesn't really look like a bull flag to me. For instance, what happened back here, you know, that, that looked more like a bull flag to me. And then we had a bit of a breakdown. Okay, so in essence, I think that we're still hitting some resistances at the $9,400 mark. And there needs to be a little bit more steam to push through there to get up to say like the $9,500, $600 levels. And we're kind of just continuously being rejected by the $9,400 level. For instance, we broke through it right here and we're pushed back down, touched it again, touched it again, touched it again, touched it again, touched it again. So there's a lot of resistance up at the $9,400 level keeping us down. And I think that, you know, it's just a matter of time before we get a big break again, one way or the other, uh, just because of all this kind of sideways motion. If you look, this whole month has just been one big sideways motion and getting tighter and tighter, putting in higher lows and lower highs. So I think that we could get a good movement here coming up pretty soon, and I would like to see a big movement to the upside, because what we don't want to do is fall back into this triangle and say touch some of these supports down at the $9,100 level. We want to stay away from that. We want to try to remain bullish for the rest of the year. If we want to finish out the year bullish, we need to actually put in some bullish movements here. And this sideways movement, honestly, is just not that. Now this uptrend that we've had in the last day or two is a really good sign, but it has to continue. So for instance, higher low, higher low, higher low, and we can't, we don't want to see something crash back down or something. That would be a very bad sign. So we want to see it keep moving up. I think we're going to kind of get something like this, like a little bit of a bounce just above the last bump and then maybe another bump up again. Okay, guys, something like that. And I think that would be a very good sign. What we don't want to see is something like this. Punching back towards support levels or even further down it could go. And then that would be a very bearish sign again. And just showing that we're not ready for a breakout yet. But there's a couple contributing factors um, in general. Just not only that in the charts, but in the news, which are possibly making a bull run up and coming. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit, guys. But it's about the Bitcoin search interest hitting all-time lows and when this happened last was when we were at seven thousand dollars and pumped up to ten thousand three hundred so guys is that going to happen again let me know what you think in the comments because there's a lot of interesting correlation there and guys I wanted to dive into electronium okay we had the having and in essence a bullfrag has been put in we broke out of it to the upside we have a green candle coming in right now does that mean we're gonna get another shot up and say touch the one cent mark, because that would be a really good sign for Electronium. Okay, that's a, that's what needs to happen to show some good bullish, healthy behavior. Okay, we don't want to see it drop down to say touch this support line again. 
Now, for instance, when we got up to 0 0.0066, we did have a bit of a sell-off here, touching back towards resistance levels. Up, down, up, down, sideways, and you can see the EMA 20 just having really sharp movements here. You see that right there. And just like back here. Okay, guys, so that's it's showing that it's really still coiling up. And even though we're getting a little bit of price action, that's just because there's a lot of stuff going on in the coin. Okay, guys, so we're getting a little bit of a price spike now. I feel like the weak hands have sold out. They would have sold out right here in this big channel. Okay, once we left it, I think that we're in a good position to see some more run up. And if you zoom out even further, notice down here, guys, at the point zero zero one eight mark, we have been moving up since. So we could put in a line, something like that, if we really wanted to. Okay, guys. So we've got a good sense that we're moving up in a good direction. We just have to keep putting in stronger trends and keep moving that direction in a positive way. Again, what we don't want to see is a breakdown to touch these support levels. That would be very bad. We want to keep moving up and keep moving it forward. Now, I think you guys have to remember that after the post having leaving the reaccumulation phase, we are in a bull market. And if you're unfamiliar with the, the phases, it goes bull market, bear market, accumulation phase, expansion phase, reaccumulation phase, and back to bull market. So what happened with Bitcoin, for instance, is in 2011, we had a bull market. In 2013, we had a bull market. In 2017, we had a bull market. So the real prediction for Bitcoin even is to get a, a bull market in 2021 or early 2022. Now, with electroniums having happening, I think it could happen even sooner, okay? It doesn't have to take a year and a half post having for a real big rush to happen. I think we could end up back in the several in the cent mark over the next year, that's for sure. Okay, guys, as long as we keep building up, you know, keeping in these good trends. Yes, this downtrod was very sad to see, but in general, these are just weak hands getting weeded out, and that's fine with me. I don't I don't care about that. And in all honesty, I bought more coin down at 0 0.0051. So I'm very happy there. And I try to just continuously get in lower and lower, as low as I can. But I did get in at 0 0.0018. So it's kind of hard to get any lower than that. I think that would have been the actual bottom for Electronium. And we'll never see those prices again. That's just, that's just a fact. And I think that higher times for Electronium are just right around the corner. You have to think of coins like chain link going from you know it went from four dollars down to two dollars all the way up to eight dollars okay etn is going to be very popular as well and we're just in it we're really in an infancy stage i can't express that enough just how young electronium is so guys don't forget that these coins when they're young they're not getting a huge price a consistent price movement it, it just doesn't happen you get spikes if you remember back to a couple like a year and a half ago we had a big spike up Okay, and then we had a big spike up to a cent just recently. But if you look at Electronium, I don't even know if it'll be able to zoom back this far, guys. I'm going to try. Nope, it can't even zoom back this far on that map. But in essence, we had a very strong bull run about a year and a half ago. Okay, and then this year we had a run all the way up to a cent. So the next bull run I expect to be even stronger than Ascent, and I think it'll be a lot more stable as well, meaning we'll get that run up and not get a huge sell-off this time. Like, for instance, Bitcoin pumps up, has these 80% pump and dumps. Okay, I, I don't think that's going to happen exactly like that. And even, for instance, if you look here, when we got all the way up to Ascent, we had a sell-off of about forty eight percent okay and then again over here and we had a sell-off from a cent seventeen percent so on a good note guys that's a really good sign that we're we're not getting as wrecked by these sell-offs, and that's a good sign. That means that people are holding their coin. They're believing in higher price. They're believing that it's going to be moving upward. And I think that seeing less breakdown is a very good sign for healthy growth. 
okay guys? So I think Electronium is really moving in the right direction and I think you should be holding those bags, especially in the next year and a half for sure, because we're potentially in a bull market now post having. And guys, I wanna talk a little bit about the Bitcoin Google search interest hitting its lowest since before the 10K bull run. So the last time Bitcoin was Googled so little was right before it's pushed from 7,200 to 10,300. And Bitcoin is at its least popular among Google users since last year. Should history repeat itself and BTC USD will reclaim $10,000? I gotta say guys, I think that Bitcoin is on the verge of regaining some of these higher levels. Like there's been so much talk of Bitcoin hitting higher levels before the end of the year. And I think it's finally about to happen. This, this boring sideways motion can't last forever. As it, as it continues, the buildup is getting stronger and stronger, meaning the breakout will be larger and larger. So eventually, you know, these 4% moves are going to look like nothing when all of a sudden we get a 10 to 20% move. And that'll be, you know, what we're all waiting for in the breakout department. And we can all just hope that it breaks to the upside, basically. So Bitcoin interest hits seven month lows. As of July 20th, interest was firmly at multi-month lows on Google's normalized scale of one to 100. So at 45, Bitcoin was challenging its reading of 41 from the week of December 29th. What occurred after previous floor is conspicuous. After languishing at around 7,200 over the new year, BTC USD began a swift ascent to highs over 10,300. That spike caused a modest uptick in search interest to 62, but it was March coronavirus crash which formed the standout event among Google searches. May's block subsidy having products similar effects, and here's that chart, guys. Check it out right here. And you can see the Google searches spiking up right around March when the coronavirus hit. And then again, mid-March. Okay, guys? Check that out. So analysts are getting a taste for 10,000. So guys, do you think that we're going to get another coronavirus sell-off and that it's not going to actually spike up? I actually think, you know, there's a lot of fear in the market, but when the fear is in the market and the, and the price is still high, that means that we could get higher prices. Okay, guys? So a breakdown may not be something that's realistic right now. Okay? And I'm talking like a breakdown to the eights or sevens. Even though... On the charts, for instance, when you get a massive run from, say, 3,700 up to 10,400, are we expecting a big blow off of 10, 20, 30, 40%? Okay? So I don't think we are, though. Just the way the market's looking and the way that we're still at, like, around 9, like, we recovered out of the March crisis very quickly. Okay? Stocks still did not get back up to those regular marks. Bitcoin, however, did. Okay, we dropped down from around 9,400. We're back at 9,400 basically, a little bit under. So guys, I think Bitcoin had a really strong recovery amid this crisis. I think that some higher prices are right around the corner and I think things are lining up nicely, okay? And it says here, the 9,200 resistance broke earlier today, which immediately led to a surge to the 9,400 resistance zone. We talked about that last week. Coin Telegraph market analysis, Michelle Van de Poek, Noted in analysis on Tuesday, he added that for a real surge to occur, and I've talked about this before too, however, resistance levels higher up would need to be conquered first, these lying above the $10,000 mark, which could nonetheless soon break. But again, guys, we still have to break through the 9,400, remain stable, get up to the 9,600, remain stable, 9,000, and etc. Okay, I'm not just calling out every 100 there. That's where we've had known resistance that has stopped the Bitcoin price from going higher. Okay, guys, so it's just a matter of time uh, before this like sideways motion is broken and that we're actually seeing these upward times. And I think it's, it's just right around the corner. And after getting 10,400 a couple weeks ago, I think that it's, it's really realistic. And once we get above the $10,400 mark and remain stable up there, that's really going to make people really excited about the future for Bitcoin and not so fearful because there's a lot of again there's a lot of fear in the market and that's not exactly from bitcoin that's from the coronavirus that's from the money printing you know there's many reasons why people are in a lot of fear and i think that you know this next six months is very pivotal for bitcoin and we for instance don't want to see it drop down to lower prices we got to see it pump up and i think everything is lining up perfectly for higher prices so 
that's what I think is going on, guys. I think that we're going to see some higher prices. It's right around the corner. And everything's just lining up right. And I think if, say, like we were at $6,000 Bitcoin right now and there was a lot of fear in the market, I'd be like, yeah, we might crash down. We're already decently low. This is a make or break point. But since we're at $9,000, I think that's a really good sign. So say like something horrible happens and we get a breakdown, we won't break down far. And that, that's a really good thing. I think we have more room to grow to the upside than the down. And remember, guys, we are in a bull market now, even if it doesn't feel like it. We are technically in one. Okay, guys, that's what I have to say about the Bitcoin and Electronium price today. And guys, that's all I have time for, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, do consider it. I'm doing a giveaway for my first 500 subscribers. One of you will be a lucky winner to win a Ledger Nano S. All you have to do is subscribe, and you'll be in the drawing to win, and I'll do that drawing live for you guys all to see. And if you guys don't know much about these things, it's the safest way to keep your Bitcoin. You don't want to leave it on exchanges. You don't want to leave it on you know, these wallets online. It's just not safe. They can be hacked. I promise you that, guys. I mean, everything can be hacked. Is You're only as strong as your key. Okay, and that's that's a strong key right here, guys. And then you got to be strong and hold your keys to yourself as well. But guys, that's all I have time for today. Thanks for tuning in. I am Crypto Matrix. I'll catch you guys later.